Alright gang, welcome back to Hanson Speed Shop for another cool custom Hot Wheels build. Today, we're going to be doing a bone shaker. Uh, I've done one bone shaker before. Um, I don't think it was ever featured on a YouTube video. You can kind of see it right here in my case. Uh, that was done probably about three years ago or so. Um, so it's definitely time to do another one. Um... When I did this first car, uh, if you give me a second here, um, I'll get it out for you and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so on this one that I built about three years ago, um, which is really, you know, really a cool car. I just wanted to kind of do it a traditional um, kind of 60s style hot rod. Um, this one I chose to use because I liked that it had the uh, full roof on it. And then I pretty much just retained um, basically the whole car as far as the way it comes from Hot Wheels. And then I just did a wheel swap on it. I ran these skinny wheels up front and then uh, some real wide um, tires out back. Um, just kind of detailed out the whole thing on a nice satin black and red. And um, kind of did the tops of the injectors there in red. Um, so just a pretty cool car. Um, this car um, is a, also bone shaker, but this has the open roof. Um, and the idea for this car is going to be um, what really gives the bone shaker, you know, what makes it the bone shaker, I think, is like the skull front end on it. And um, that's what we're getting rid of. So basically, everything in front of the firewall. Uh, I'm cutting off and getting rid of it. So we're getting rid of these pipes, getting rid of this engine, getting rid of the hood. Uh, we're going to get rid of the skull here. And I want to do kind of an early to mid 60s um, style hot rod. And all of that's not very traditional, um, you know, at all. So that's all got to go. Um, and then we're going to replace that with the, um, we're going to use the grill and, uh, basically this radiator and everything off of this 32 Ford. Um, I don't know if I'll use this engine, probably not. We'll find a different engine, um, for this car. And then the interior on the car kind of looks like it has some nice bomber looking seats and stuff so the interior will leave that alone and then um, in the truck bed here we got a nice um, gas tank and battery and stuff so that's fine and then underneath the car the the chassis of everything I I don't mind that that looks fine but we're just gonna get rid of everything on top of the chassis in front of the firewall is all all gonna go and I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do that before. Because um, I'm kind of like a traditional hot rod guy. And I've always kind of liked the bone shaker. But the the exhaust and the skull on the front and everything just kind of kind of ruins the car for me, I guess, in a way. Um, it's kind of cool, but not really very, not very traditional, not very realistic. Um... So that's all gonna all gonna go. So I'll get the thing torn apart and then maybe start cutting on the thing a little bit and then I'll show you guys what it looks like and we'll go from there. All right guys, so we made a quite a bit of progress on the car. Uh, before I get into too much of what I've all done, uh, I just want to talk about kind of the overall look that I'm going for on this car. Uh, back when I was in high school, there was a TV show on I don't remember the name of it, but um, they did kind of an episode uh, about a car club from Southern California called the Burbank Choppers. And uh, I kind of showed one member of the club building a car, which was a, a T, um, a Model T that they built into kind of an early 60s style hot rod. And then um, at the end of the show, they kind of unveiled it at a car show and stuff. And I thought that car was pretty cool. I'll put a picture in of that car right now. Okay, so as you've seen the car, it's called Bad News. 
Um, that's kind of the look that we're going for on this car. So we're going to call this one the Bad News Bone Shaker. Uh, especially bad news for the Bone Shaker part because we've eliminated that. Um, so what we've done on the car is... I cut off the whole front as you can see. We made a firewall, kind of blended that into the cowl. Um, and then kind of shaved this front here. Cut the whole front part off of the interior. And then here's our grill that we got from our 32 Ford. And then I was just playing around with these wheels. I don't know if I'm gonna run them or not. They look pretty cool. Um, so kind of got the body doing a little bit of sanding on there. And then I just made this firewall out of a piece of plastic that I had. Um, but it's coming along really good. Uh, it's looking really cool. Um, the main thing that I need to do yet yeah, is figure out what I'm gonna run for an engine. Uh, the engine that I was going to run is going to be too big. Uh, and then i got to decide if I'm going to run these wheels. Because if I am, I'm going to have to do something with uh, the axles to make, make these style axles fit. Um, so that is the progress so far on the Bad News Bone Shaker. Uh, once we get a little bit farther and I kind of decide on the wheels and maybe the engine, exhaust, stuff like that, uh, we'll take another look at it. Alright gang, so we're back on our Bad News Bone Shaker project. Uh, the only thing I've done really since the last time we just took a look at it was um, I decided we're going to go with basically the wheels that are on the car. I might detail them out a little bit differently, planning on painting um, the front wheels to look are painting them yellow to look like the real car and then I might just leave the backs alone I got these really fat Hot Wheels steel wheels with the white walls just to kind of give this car a different look again we weren't doing an exact replica uh, the bad news car um, just kind of inspired by it and applying some of the same look um, onto this bone shaker it's turning out super cool um, Kind of channeled the body over the frame a little bit more as you can see we had to make this firewall um i had to make this rear axle because uh, it's got to be pretty wide um and had to channel the back of the frame out a little bit um right now what i'm working on is kind of cutting in on the front of the frame um because we took this grill off of a 32 ford from hot wheels and then i'm gonna have to get that fitted on on the front and sitting um, just right. Otherwise, um, I've got a couple engines in mind as far as what we're gonna use. Uh, and then for exhaust, um, I've got that figured out also. Um, so that's really all that's left for fabrication. All I have to do is finish fitting the grill, um, get our engine in and exhaust done. And I've already got that figured out. I just gotta get get the work done uh, we'll take another look at the car once I have that all all done with the grill and everything um, but then otherwise everything else is pretty much done ready for painting and detailing so we'll take another look at the car once I get the engine in and then we'll go from there all right gang it's time for the final unveil on our Bad News Bone Shaker. This came out really cool. Um, we started out with a, a bone shaker, which, you know, everyone has built. And I've been wanting to do a bone shaker for a while, but I feel like it's kind of gotten beaten to death. Uh, so I wanted to do something different with one. And, and we kind of eliminated the bone shaker part and just left all the cool hot rod um, that's kind of hidden behind some of the cheesy stuff that's on the bone shaker. We also did this build as kind of a tribute to uh, the real bad news car uh, built by the Burbank Choppers Car Club in California. Um, I wanted to do kind of not, you know, obviously not a replica of the car, but just something kind of inspired by it. Um, and it came out really cool. So um, what we did with this car is pretty extensive really um we cut off the hood of the car of the original bone shaker cut off the original engine uh the original grill headlights um 
got rid of all that. Then I had to notch the front of the frame. Um, we sourced the grill off of a 32 Ford from Hot Wheels. Um, the engine uh, is like three different parts. Um, one, it's uh, the top of the engine is off out of a 57 Chevy from Hot Wheels uh, that has the engine kind of sticking up out of the hood. Uh, the engine block itself I made out of epoxy. And then the lake style headers uh, came off of a Hot Wheels mod rod. Uh, then I had to make a firewall um, out of a piece of plastic. Um, we had to make a rear axle for the car. Um, we're running the really fat uh, Hot Wheels steelies out back with some white walls. And then we're running the really skinny um, kind of dished wheels up front. Uh, I painted the car a sunflower yellow, and then I handed the Bad News uh, logo on the side of the car uh, with some other little stripes, uh, kind of reminiscent of the the real car. I kind of wanted to do this car as a the real car is some you know a patina to it, but I wanted to do this one as a little bit nicer, um, kind of a little bit more showy, uh, kind of how the car would have looked before it got you know patinaed. Um, we did the engine block out in a gloss yellow. Everything else is kind of chrome on the engine. Um, and then I detailed the tops of the stacks orange to match the bad news and the stripes on the side of the car. Uh, the bad news is actually orange over white along with the stripes is orange over white. Um, painted the wheel, the front wheels uh, a yellow to kind of match the body color. It's not the same yellow. It's a little bit different yellow uh, for some contrast. Um, we'll take a look on the top side of the car. We did um, the interior out. Um, we did the seats white and the steering wheel white. Um, I threw some gauges on the dash and then the center console and everything is silver. Um, detailed out the battery and gas tank. Um, taking a look at the side of the car. Just really happy with this one. It really has that cool kind of early 60s uh, hot rod look that I, I wanted. Um, which I really haven't seen anybody else do anything like this with a bone shaker. And, uh, you know, I think it's such a good platform for doing like a cool old school hot rod. I've seen, you know, people do everything with a bone shaker i mean you name it uh but you know really just kind of eliminating the bone shaker part of this car and leaving um like the the t um ford model t pickup um body and then you know the chassis leaves you a nice blank canvas and a good platform to build a really sweet uh old school traditional style hot rod um, we'll take a look underneath the car, um, and, uh, I didn't really do a ton underneath the car, um, just basically painted out the chassis in a gloss black, painted the oil pan yellow, uh, detailed out the transmission, and the front axle, uh, is chrome, and the front brakes are chrome, um, but pretty simple underneath the car, I didn't really do too much, uh, underneath the car um, but that is our bad news bone shaker I hope you guys dig this one because I'm really happy with it this is one of my favorite um, just kind of hot rods that I've done in a, in a while uh, something a little bit different um, I originally kind of debated about uh, just running the grill uh, straight um, but it kind of looked a little bit funny because the the chassis on this car is so long uh, there's a big gap in between the engine and um, the grill shell itself and this is a big engine um, so <clears throat> by giving it a little bit of a rake and kind of tipping it back not only does it kind of match the angle um, of the chop on the roof I think it just kind of fills in that gap a little bit and just gives the car a nice um, kind of front to back rake. So I decided to just tip it back a little bit. Um, but really happy with this. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the mods we did on this car. What you think of the overall build. Um, also, I don't know if I mentioned, but I did the firewall out uh, in a satin white. Uh, just kind of 
bringing the interior to the exterior and that's kind of an old school touch that they used to do on cars i think it looks really nice helps the yellow to pop helps the engine to pop uh, also if you like had any oil leaks or anything blowing off the engine it would show up right away on the firewall like hey there's a problem uh, but anyway also hit that subscribe button if you haven't i'd really appreciate it if you do lots more cool stuff like this to come in the future lots more cool stuff on the channel if you want to go check that out if you haven't already otherwise stick around for some pictures of the bad news bone shaker um otherwise get out work on your own projects get your hands dirty stay cool and we'll catch you cats on the next one thanks for watching